Hello and welcome to Reginald ESQ, I'm Underhook and this is the next in my series looking at the armor changes in patch 9.12 World of Tanks. Right now we're looking at the tier 3 American light tank, the M3 Stuart. On the right hand side of your screen is a pre-recorded version of Tank Inspector and on the left hand side of your screen is the current live 9.12 version of Tank Inspector. So let's have a look and see how the armor has changed if at all. And we'll go to the colorized view and you can pretty much straight away see that yes there have been some changes. So the lower plate, which I was just on, uh, has gone up a whopping one millimeter from 44 to 45 millimeters, which is a bit strange. The areas though on the side here, over I guess what you call the drive area, is uh, 46 millimeters instead of 44. So it's gone up two millimeters there and one millimeter there. Seems like a lot of work for not much. Let's have a look at the rest of it. So moving up the upper plate there was uh, 16 millimeters and still is 16 millimeters. So no biggie there. Really weird one though. I'll focus on the front first. So the front here is 38 millimeters as it always was 38 millimeters. But you can see that uh, there are no uh, driver plate weaknesses here. They've removed the driver and is it the driver and the gunner? I can't remember anyway. But I'll come back to that part in a minute. Really strangely, this area here, which I think is a machine gun port, yep, uh, which they have been removing the weaknesses in a lot of cases. In this case, they haven't completely removed it. So, well, it was actually a strength anyway. So currently, it's 16 millimeters and 19 millimeters over that area. It used to be 16 and 38 over that area. So that's been pretty much halved in its armor value just over that small section, which is kind of weird. Uh, and a minute I'll go to the driver's hatch. So the driver's hatch there, instead of being 38, was 35. They've removed those and not much of a weakness anyway, so it hasn't made a great deal of difference to it. From what I can see, the rest of the front of the tank is pretty much uh, the same as it was as far as armor values and uh, all that goes. The rest of the, the turret and all that sort of thing. So I move on to the side of the tank, which also is pretty much the same as it ever was. The, the tracks look a little bit different as far as what they cover, but the actual armor values are pretty much the same as they used to be. The only real difference then is on the top. So here you can see the top deck of the tank is uh, 10 millimeters, and uh, that's pretty much, hang on, we'll just go back a little bit. It used to be 13 millimeters, now it's 10. The top of the turret is still 13, as same as it used to be, but it's just the top deck has lost a few mils. And that's about it. Other than that, it's uh, similar. So it's really just some minor changes. Well, I suppose if, yeah, minor changes to the front of the tank. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more armor reviews and the tank reviews, please subscribe to Reginald ESQ. Have fun.